So I remember one of my first experiences with trying to learn how to use a computer was being so frustrated that everything that you could do with the computer was limited to this tiny screen. And I wanted to try to find a way to get our interactions with data off of that screen and out into the physical world. One of the things that bringing data out into the physical world lets you do is experiment with different scales. This is a 90 foot long, 10 foot wide liquid crystal ribbon sculpture at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. It shows these abstract representations of different scientific phenomena. Things like, can we get that video to play? Um, things like fluid flow, birds flocking, that sort of thing. And, and so basically what this lets you do is it, it's, it, it lets you engage with data in a fundamentally different scale. So a, a pixel on this display is about five inches um, square compared to say less than a millimeter on a, uh, on a laptop or a cell phone. And so what this means is that in order to see this whole display, you have to really move your body around and, and actually walk around this building. And so by doing so, we're engaging what's called the sixth sense, proprioception, your, your body's understanding of where it is in space. And so this gives you a fundamentally different perception of the type of data that you're engaging with. It's like the difference between standing at the base of a skyscraper and looking up at it and looking at a picture of that skyscraper on the screen. So, so embracing different scales is one of the things that you can do um, by bringing data out into the physical world. Another is you can let people grab and touch your data and physically interact with it. So this is an um, interactive chemistry exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. And what it lets you do is use little pucks to grab atoms off of the periodic table of the elements and try to bring them together to, um, to cause chemical reactions to happen. So all of the interaction with data in this um, exhibit is mediated using these physical objects that you hold in your hand. So you can share them, you can pick them up off the table, you can give them to your friends. And, um, and when you do that, you feel like you're actually holding the atom or molecule in your hand. So here we just created table salt by bringing, bringing sodium and chlorine together. So the point of all this is that we're engaging the sense of touch and we're taking advantage of skills that people already have because they know about how to uh, pick up an object and move it. That's not anything new to, him, new to them. So you don't really need to worry so much about how to, figuring out how to use a computer. So I wanted to try to push this idea further. And, and I thought, well, what if in addition to just sort of letting you move the objects around on the table, maybe the computer can move the objects too? So then you could turn a complex, a complex system of mathematical data into a simple mechanical tug of war um, where, where the computer's moving things around and the people using it are moving things around as well. And so in order to do that, I built this system that can, would let the computer do just that. And basically, it's this huge array of electromagnets underneath the table. And then the, the computer runs these complex numerical simulations on top of the table. And you feel the results of those simulations as physical forces on the objects on top. So these are the, the magnets. It's 512 electromagnets underneath the tabletop surface. And I'll show you a few different things that it can do. The first example is just um, creating an equilateral triangle. So um, We've got this, this tabletop surface, and this is another video if you could play it for me. And so the computer is going to move these objects around. And as the computer does this, we can reach in and uh, you know, interact with this, this simulation at any particular time. So um, in addition to, uh, so whatever we do, the computer responds to that. And so, you know, uh, an equilateral triangle is a super simple example, but we can also apply this to much more complex ideas, things like how to lay out cell phone towers in a city. This is um, a problem, this is actually the last video, if you could play this one for me. <laughs> oh, none of the videos worked. Oh well, they warned me about this. Anyways, imagine that, you know, the computer's moving these objects around and it's really awesome. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> So basically, uh, you know, the point here is, is that by bringing things off of the screen where your videos don't play and into the physical world where um, you, you, know, you have these physical objects that you can grasp and manipulate and engage more of your senses, we can, we can um, create, inter um, we can create um, interactions with data that are much more powerful and engaging. So I'd like to encourage you, all of you to try to bring your data off the screen and into the world, the physical world, where you can have these interactions that um, create better learning experiences and, and more, more effective ways to learn about your data. Thanks.